The lake receives water from several sources, including the Zambezi River, when it overflows its banks and causes flooding in the area, as well as the Kwando and Chobe rivers during sufficient rains. It contributed to the important subsistence fishery sector in the 1970s and early 1980s before it dried up in 1985. In the early 2000s, the lake started filling up again and received major inflows during the floods of 2007. Rural communities at the Muyako village of the Katima rural constituency who survive from fishing as a means of income generation and a source of food are concerned about the rapidly drying up lake. The headman of the Muyako area, Bonwell Kamui, now calls for assistance from government to divert water through some means into the lake to make sure of its continued existence. We will have trouble. People are surviving from this river. Since it started drying up now, we don't know what to do. People all over the region depend on fish from this lake. We really need assistance. I don't know how the government will help us. People already don't have enough food supply because of lack of rain, and they did not harvest. Rosemary Casale, one of the local fishmongers who depends solely on the lake, as breadwinner of her family, says she's been sending her children and orphans under her care to school from income generated from selling fish over the years as she's unemployed. I am shocked about what is happening to our lake because this is where we are living from. When we take the fish to the market, we get money, which we use to buy our children's school uniforms and food to eat. As you can see me here, I'm coming from far. I'm just coming for fish. But once it dries up here, the owners of the land will come and cultivate land, and what will happen to us? <laughs> 